Merry Christmas, everybody. Good morning to you. Hello there again. It's me again. Folding washing again. It never ends. Today is Tuesday and tonight we are driving down to Devon to visit my in-laws for a few days. So today we're just going to be getting packed, getting ready. I will be taking the kids to the big shop just to pick up a few bits to take with us. And whilst we're there we're going to go to Starbucks. I'm trying to build up Penny's tolerance of like being in the restaurant environment because she's pretty much a lockdown baby. She was eight months when we went into lockdown. She's not used to that kind of thing and we'd like to go for a meal out with my in-laws when we go down again for New Year. So I'm finding coffee shops are a good kind of place to, you know, get her used to it really without having to go out for a full meal all the time. I need to decide what I'm taking with me project-wise. I'm going to be taking my husband's jumper because I can work on that in the car on the way there and the way back because I'll be in the back with Penny in case she needs anything and Jeff will be in the front with them. But I do also feel like I should take something small um, just because all my jumper whips are quite hefty and I want something small and light that I can work on when I'm like chatting with the in-laws or when we're like, you know, just kind of doing bits here and there. So I might... Um, take down a hat project i'm hoping to do a hat for my dad my dad is really quite knit worthy actually he always really appreciates it when i knit things for him two years ago i made him some mittens with a little it was just the tin can knit super simple mittens pattern but i inserted like a little fair isle thing on the hand and it was the first time i did color work and i see him wear them all the time so and they're gray so i'm going to make him a matching gray hat not with any fair isle on it um just because I want something simple. Just a one by one rip hat. So I'll probably take that with me to work on as well. I'd also like to make some socks for the family. But I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. It kind of depends how much time I've got left over after I finish my husband's jumper. So some nice things going on today. I hope you all had a lovely evening. Let's get on with it shall we? I say that so much. <laughs> About what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to made it through the first half of the day I'm majorly procrastinating and putting off the starting of the actual packing but as my mother says just start with the socks and that's always the best way to go I thought I'd show you my advent I didn't show you the last one because I opened it on Sunday when I wasn't filming <clears throat> but it was a little progress keeper that was like a candy cane and I've already opened it so you don't get any rustling. I'm on day four of my 12 day advent and I'm opening them, opening them every other day. And it's a lovely little stocking stitch marker. Hey. I'll do a little cutaway for you, of course. Hey, um, but yes, Christmassy yet tasteful. I wouldn't expect anything less. So I've got um, one, two, three, four, five. I had to count. I've got four hours until it's time to leave, so it should be more than enough time. But I would like to get a cheeky little hour in there to do a little bit more on my husband's jumper. 
I don't know how much I'm going to actually film over the next few days. Um, it kind of depends on what we do. Um, I don't think my in-laws particularly mind being filmed, but I also don't want to be shoving a camera in their face all the time. So we'll probably just take little snippets here and there and I might combine them into one video. So I might not upload for a few days, but I will be filming and making an account of everything and then doing like one put together video for, um, for our time in Devon. And that probably feels like it's the most appropriate and the most comfortable because again, I don't want to take myself away from what we're actually doing and I want to enjoy my time. But we'll see if I have enough footage in the first day or two, then I'll edit it in the evening and upload it. Are you okay, baby? Do you know Squirtle? Do you know Pokemon can turn into different Pokemon? Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? It's cool. Let's just try this again. Oh, this is the worst one. Jeff! I'm going in. Bye bye. <laughs> Jeff, you've made that terrifying Bulbasaur I look did it, amazing. I did it. <laughs> Good job. Socks. like pack for each day like this is what I'll wear that day this is what I'll wear that day I need options <laughs> like I need a couple of options for if I want to be cozy I need a couple of options if I want to be a bit more dressy and like it's to my own detriment of course but yeah I needed a bigger suitcase in the end I don't know what I was thinking with that tiny one <laughs> They're watching Bluey. We finally hit the Bluey stage. Yay! I'm all done. We're all packed and we're ready to go. Just waiting for Ben to finish work. I'm absolutely shattered, so I don't know if I'm going to have the energy to knit on the way down. I might just do some editing and watch some vlogmases. I haven't done any kind of like midday editing today, so it feels a bit strange not knowing what this vlog is looking like at the moment. Um, oh, I know, baby. Hang on. I don't know if I'll check in again with you when we get down there. We're probably gonna be quite tired and just want to unpack and stuff. So thank you so much for joining me again. I'm not sure when the next time I will be posting will be. It all kind of depends on how the next few days go. So whenever that will be, I look forward to seeing you again and thank you for watching. Have a fabulous evening and I will see you next time. Bye. was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from